What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Thursday. I'm doing good myself. Uh, I come across this particular story right here. It's, it's about a lady in Indianapolis. Uh, her name is Paris Williamson. And she's been missing, you know, for a while now. And, um, you know, of course, her family is deeply concerned about it. And I'm just hoping that maybe if I can do this video, that can help. You know what I mean? Find, you know, this lady right here. But it says here, very unlike her, Paris Williamson remains missing days after a possible casino visit. Police and her family members are asking for the public's help in locating an Indianapolis woman who was reported missing last week. Paris Williams, 33, was reported missing February 4th after her family found out she had not been at work for a week. Her sister Lauren Seymour said, Williamson is five foot six tall and weighs 170 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes, okay? She may be driving a 2008 Chevrolet Impala with Indiana license plate of 394 NFV, according to the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, the vehicle was last seen traveling southbound at Emerson Avenue and County Line Road on January 31st, according to IMPD. Wow, this doesn't look good, but I hope they can find this lady, you know, uh, alive and well, you understand? Um, but to continue, it says other missing people, but we're not talking about that right now. Let's, let me see, where is Nikhil? Yeah. Okay, here we are. Uh, Williamson's family is worried about her because of unusual behavior over uh, the past few weeks, Seymour said. The last time a family member spoke to her was January 30th, Seymour said. Uh, that was very unlike her not to go to work because she loves her job, Seymour said. Uh, there was just a lot of red flag flags being raised. Um, it goes on the same conclusion here. The family heard from a person who said they spotted Williamson at a horseshoe Indianapolis casino in Shelbyville on February 4, uh, 1st. Yeah, uh, Seymour said, uh, those with information on Williams' whereabouts are asked to call 911, contact the IMPD, which is the Indianapolis Metro Police Department, Missing Persons Unit at 317-324-6160 or call Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana at 317-262-8477 to remain anonymous, okay? Yeah, I hope they can find this lady to put her family's mind at rest because, you know, um, her father, you know, uh, he made a video and everything. Let's just check it out. Tonight, an Indianapolis family desperately needs your help to find a missing loved one. Paris Williamson was last seen more than a week ago. News aide Tamisha Ramsey spoke with Paris's father today. This is Paris Williamson and her family reported her missing Friday. We've been trying to reach her by phone and it goes straight to voicemail. Her father, Lane Seymour, says she's a successful insurance agency representative. And they became worried when her job called, saying the 33-year-old didn't show up for work all week. The alarm went up uh, because Paris is very professional. Uh, she does not miss work uh, without calling in. And uh, she definitely would let us know if she was going to be gone for this long period of time. Seymour says Paris is an accomplished woman who stays on top of her obligations and abandoning her responsibilities at home is another red flag. To leave mail in the mailbox, which she's very private, and she had uh, her license and some other W-2 forms, which was soaking wet. Uh, so I know she would not just take off and leave. Seymour says they also received a tip. Someone may have seen her at the Horseshoe Casino in Shelbyville on January 31st. We were concerned with the report we got back from what was uh, when she was in the casino because she was with someone who seemed a little bit older than she was and she seemed bothered from what the person was reporting to us. Her silver Chevy Impala with the license plate number 394 NFV is also gone. 
Her family is circulating flyers right now, counting on the power of social media to bring new leads. We've got people all around uh, Indianapolis, as far as Texas and Tennessee, all of, you know, different places, just people looking uh, and trying to, you know, to see if they can spot that vehicle. Seymour says he is not estranged from his daughter and there was no falling out prior to her disappearance. He says she's loved and the main focus is to find her. She's a compassionate person. I'm telling you, she, when we go down to feed the homeless, if she can make it, she goes down and she gives her time and her talent and she's a, just a, a beautiful young lady with a great heart and uh, we do want her home. I'm Amisha Ramsey for Wish TV, wishtv.com. Follow us on Facebook. Wow, you know, situations like this can cause a lot of sleepless nights. You know, uh, when your loved one, you know, becomes uh, missing, you know. Uh, being that she was in that uh, casino, though, it seems like to me they can, like, recover, like, the surveillance footage to see who she was with before, you know, she became missing, to say the least, you know. But I hope that this family, you know, find, you know, this father finds his daughter and what have you. And, um, you know, uh, put an ease to the worried mind because I know this can't be good, you know, to have something like this happen. You know, uh, like he said, you know, some of the things that, uh, you know, like happened prior to her disappearance with the mail and all that old kind of stuff. That's just no good, man. You know, it's, it's not a good sign, sign, but hopefully, you know, you can, re you can find your daughter and, um, everything's okay, you know. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular video right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.